All right, everyone. I was trying out a new method of uh, making a fipple hole. Uh, rather than doing it the way you'd seen me normally doing it, where I would take the uh, main body of the ocarina. You know, when I made this ocarina, you saw me make the main shape of it, the main potato. I would cut the notch and then I would make a mouthpiece and fit it in. And then I'd have to play with lining it up properly with the sharp edge. A quick trial to see if it would work with um, air drying clay rather than using the good clay. This is what I make. I make. This little nugget shaped thing. I just made a little tiny one. I'm probably even going to try putting holes in it, but I'm still worried the clay won't work. But I guess it's just another um, trial for the air drying clay to see if it does work or not. I'll have to make another video to show how I did it, but basically I hacked it, and then rather than making a mouthpiece, I just pulled the clay to a point where I wanted to make a mouthpiece, then jammed my uh, air hole making tool, air channel, up into the clay, and then met it with another... I used a little knife. A little blade into there and kind of dug the hole out and then I aligned them and then after I made the hole I lined up my tool and like popsicle stick or whatever you have to use in there and I made a little notch in the back of the hole right here the fifth area made a little notch in the back so I knew exactly where to sharpen it you know what I mean where to make the exact point or edge and then Hollow it all out and clean it up, shake it up, and hey, it works great. I think it's probably a, an amazing sounding hole. Maybe even the best I've made so far. So I might have a new method. <laughs> but for the time being, until I really start going with um, making some sound holes, I'll know how high of a pitch it can get. Or until I try this method again with good clay. So you can blow pretty hard and pretty low and it still works. Of course, like with any ocarina, the harder you blow, the higher the pitch will go and it'll sound a little funny, but... Alright, so I'm still working on this. Hours later, again, with the crummy clay. <laughs> I don't know why I put so much effort into this, but if it turns out decently, I'll be happy, but I'm worried the same thing's gonna happen with the other one where... It goes great, it sounds great, and then halfway through tuning it starts to change tuning as it furthers to dry. So I'm thinking maybe I'll even just let this sit overnight and let it dry out the rest of the way so I don't end up with the same problem. Either way, it sounds pretty good. So, I've got... No, that's what I have so far. But I think it sounds pretty nice. Got a pretty clear tone. And it's still not 100% tuned, so it's still just slightly off just by a little bit. But I mean, after I get that down, sounds like it's gonna kick ass. I mean, it's a little bit lumpy and misshapen, but hey, this was only meant to be a practice one anyways for my new tipple hole method. Uh, and if this turns out great, cool, and if it doesn't, at least I know the fiddle hole method does work pretty good. I'm gonna continue tonight <clears throat> just to see if it can reach high notes too, because it sounds really nice now. But it's still always the high notes that give me the most problem. So, hopefully it works out. See you in the morning. Okay, so it's the following day, quite a bit later. I've came down and taken a look at it, and it looks actually not too bad. It started to have a little bit of cracking around some of the seams, but I'm hoping it's going to be alright. I'm going to try sanding it down, hopefully take that seam mark off. But I mean, as long as it doesn't crack all the way through, who cares? Cosmetically, I'm not really that worried about it, I'm just worried about the sound. It's another, another tester. So, I'm actually pretty impressed with the sound. After I looked it over, I started working on tuning it some more, and this is what I've got so far. Let's see.
the highest two notes need a little bit of work, and I know that. I just haven't gotten there yet, I just thought it was about time I make a video. But hey, that's some pretty good sound quality, eh? I mean, I'm surprised at how good that sounds. It's a little high pitch and shrill, but I mean, the Mocarinas just sound that way, so this Ocarina is in C4, I believe. But still, that sounds pretty wicked. And as you can hear, I'm finally learning how to play Pendant Ocarina. <laughs> It's done, other than cleaning it up and making it look pretty. I was going to sand it all down and make it all nice because I've got some lumpy edges and everything. I was just going to clean it all up and then maybe even throw it in the oven and bake it for a little while just because it is air drying clay. But just to make sure that it was 100% all dried out and good to go. And then maybe paint it up too. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to do that. I've looked through all the holes on the inside and I can see it cracking all over the place. In between the fifth hole and the bottom hole and all the four top holes, it's cracking all over the place, so I don't imagine it's going to last. So if I leave it for maybe a week, and if it survives, then I'll clean it up and paint it. If it doesn't survive, well then, at least I know, this Fipple works awesome. It sounds great. Especially on an ocarina as small as this, and as high pitch as this, the sound does not falter, regardless of how high I go. So if I make a sweet potato using this method and it works great, I'll make a much larger one and I think I'm on the way to getting the sound just right. Nope, screwed up already. But as you can hear, it's great. I can go up the scale, I can't really go down yet. <laughs> I mean, holy, that's a high-pitched sound and it doesn't screw up. So if I actually start making some uh, good clay ocarinas, it should be sweet. All right, thanks, guys. Take it easy. And if this survives, I'll make another video showing how it turned out. And if it falls into a pile of rubble, maybe I'll do the same. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Hey, okay, I lied. I also cleaned it up a little bit. Couldn't raise this. It's pretty cool, and I'm hoping it lasts. And if it doesn't last, at least I can kind of show this is what I got. Little dinky pendant ocarina. My first successful pendant ocarina. That I wouldn't feel too bad about wearing around my neck. The little black one I would wear around my neck and not feel bad about the green one. No, that one's pretty sloppy looking. But this one turned out pretty awesome for the cheap clay. So I have to thank two people in this video specifically anyways uh... armistice for pointing out the round fipple shape that kind of i think is adding to my new method of uh... making the fipple sound quite a bit better could or could not who knows either way it worked and it sounds great so thank you and ocarina tycoon for uh, saying that i should uh, give air drying clay another chance oh. Not his exact words, but he pretty much said he uses it and it works good for him. I think he's probably using a better quality air drying clay than I'm using. But either way, I gave it another try and for speed, I did get this one done quite a bit quicker. Uh, due to the fact of the new method of making the pipple and using the air drying clay. Now it might still fall apart on me, it might not, and it'll be a shame. It was a really good test, so it worked great. Thank you guys. Oh, brain fart. <laughs>